Gonna start with a coffee. Testing, testing. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Coffee and Create, your Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial series. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to trim your clips and organize them using Final Cut's keyword tool. So if it's okay with you, I'm just gonna uh, take a couple of gulps of this. And we'll just jump on the old iMac and we'll uh, we'll get cracking. Right, we're ready, we're in Final Cut. I'm gonna try and keep this as short as possible and uh, get straight into it. So we've got a project in the browser. The first thing we wanna do is change our workspace layout to make it a bit easier for us. So the first thing we wanna do is go up to Window. Click that, go to Workspaces, you'll have a populated list here. Click Organize and then you see it gets rid of all the unnecessary panels or windows that we won't be using for this process. So you'll have all your thumbnails for each clip in here. What we can do to resize that, if these are a little too small or too big for you, if you hit the thumbnail at the top here, we have this little slider and you can see we can make them really tiny. Make them as big as you want. We just click that again to get rid of it. Now we're gonna be starting clip by clip Normally I would go through every one of these clips that we're, see that we're seeing here but for the purposes of time it's not really necessary either. Uh, we're just going to do is maybe two or three just to give you an idea of the process. So let's just start with this clip here. You see once you click it there's a yellow box that goes around that clip. What we want to do now is play through this clip and pick any part of it and almost favorite that part which we may use for the edit. Now obviously when somebody's filming or if it's you filming, there's gonna be a point where you're composing the shot, you're getting the focus, you're changing your ISO, your exposure, whatever it is you're doing, and you're not wanting to use those parts. You just wanna use the prime piece of real estate. We'll select that clip. Now to play through that clip, once it's selected, you just hit spacebar here. Now, like many videographers or camera ops, you'll have a few goes at a shot, as you can see here. See, I'm just getting that right, getting the focus. And then as soon as I start moving again, I'm just gonna hit space to stop that. Now, what we wanna do is select the start point of this clip and the end point. In video editing terms, that's the in and out point. And we will use I on the keyboard and O for out in for in, I for in, O for out, obviously. Well, maybe not obviously. So we hit I and you can see at that point, the yellow box within that clip has moved to the start point. So that's where we're gonna start the clip. That's gonna play through. And then roughly, we're gonna stop there. But as you can see, I've started to move back. Now what we want to do, because we've kind of missed the out point, the end of that clip, we want to back up. Now you can't hit play to back up, so what we do is use the J, K and L keys. Now J is essentially rewind, L on the far right of those three is forward. However, when you press those multiple times, it speeds up the play. A little bit like uh, if you're from the UK, we've got you, you know your Sky TV remote, you hit fast forward, you hit it again, it just gets faster and faster. It's the same on J, K and L. So with J, well, I just want to back up a little bit, so I'll press it once. See there, now we're at the end of that clip, that camera movement. Now I'll hit the O point for the O point. And if you watch this, now we've got that range selected. So what we want to do is save that Sorry for doing the air quotes, that's horrendous. However, we want to save that favorite it. So we want to say that's our favorite clip. So we hit F. And if you watch at the top of that yellow box, you'll see the green line appear. We favorited that section. Now you may have one recording where there's several different shots within that recording, like this one here. If I scrub through this, you can see I've got one of the lights, I've got one of the table, I've got one of the kitchen. So you can do several favorited uh, clips within one clip 
and then later on when we filter those down they'll be they'll be separated as separate clips even though they're within the same recording so I'll show you here we'll select that clip we'll hit space and we'll watch that through that one's a little shaky so I obviously go back to reframe and then as I start to move hit again again hit the I button you'll see the yellow box change press play there we go that one was good but I've gone past the stop point so again if I hit J to rewind there we go stop on the play button hit out hit F and that'll turn green at the top now we want to go further into this recording to get a shot of the dining table we can play that through at normal speed or if we hit L a couple of times that'll go a quicker pace again if the more times you hit that the faster it goes so the start of the clip we've kind of just gone past that so I'm going to back up again J so I'm going to start that with the I point the in point sorry play that through till the end of that clip again I've just gone past it so J to back up play to stop hit O hit F and you favorited it now you'll do this through normally you do this through all the clips but for the sake of time I'm just going to do these two these three these three shots now once you've gone through all these your first thing then to get rid of everything that you don't want uh, if you go up to here and then just go down to favorites watch what happens those three clips are now separated from everything else we've got that one section that is usable we've got the light and then we've got the dining table now these two as you can see by the file names within the same recordings this one's a different one so you can as I say you can select as many favorited parts within the clip as you want and then this just helps us get the clips ready ahead of laying it out in the edit. I won't go through that today. As I say, I want to keep these short. I'm just going to do through the trimming and favoriting and then the keywords. As I say now, we've got clips here. On a normal job, there'd be a lot more, but as I say for this, we just want to keep it short. We now want to keyword these clips. Now in a big project, you could have hundreds of clips. So when you get to the edit, you want to be able to navigate to those types of clips quickly. And the way we do that is by using keywords. Now to add keywords to these files, we want to go up to this little key here, quite obvious. And when you first open the keyword window, it'll look like this. It'll just be one entry point. So what you want to do is go over to the keyword shortcuts triangle and twirl that down. So we now got these entries. There are nine. You can add more keywords. So you want to think about the most common ones you'll use through the edit. Now for this one, this is in the bedroom. So we'll call this simpli simplicity bedroom. Hit enter. Now what we want to do to add that keyword to the clip is make sure it's selected. Hit the button next to it and it'll add it in. These are shortcuts. So you can do control one. That would do the same thing if I just delete that hit control one that'll do the same thing um, and then over to the next clip this is the process you'll do you just go clip by clip however if you did have two clips that are in you wanted to give the same keyword you could just hit command hold down command select that clip and it would add them to both however we'll just go over to this one this one is um, living room we'll just keep it simple hit enter and then there you go hit the button or control 2 for the shortcut now this one we'll call it dining area enter click the button or control 3 to do the same thing as you click each one you can see the keyword change in the keyword windows however if you twirl down your event can see these keys here it's populated we'll just close that it off it's populated to different keywords 
Like I say, in a bigger project, you'd have a lot more keywords and a lot more clips. But if you wanted to get to the bedroom shots, you just click bedroom, dining area, and it filters it down that way, living room area. Or you can hold command and have two selected or any number. So you might want the living room and bedroom shots for this point in the edit, so you select those. Now that's a really simple way of organizing your footage ahead of the edit. Now you re the importance of this is, if when you're on a big project, for instance, maybe you're doing a wedding video, a lot of videographers get into wedding videos to start off with, and you've got lots of different scenes through the day, you know, things like bridal prep, you've got the venue, you've got guests, you've got the wedding breakfast, the ceremony, so on and so on and so on, and it can be quite a lengthy edit. So to be able to go, right, I need another shot of the bride here, there's more guests, I need a, maybe a shot of the groom, you can go to that keyword, select it, and then find all the shots of the bride or the groom or whoever you need for that shot rather than trolling through trolling rather than scrolling through all the clips trying to find one and you're scrubbing through no there's not one there there's not one there there's not one there so it's just a quick way of accessing the video clips you need at that time so hopefully you found that valuable I've had some really nice feedback so far on these tutorials so I'm going to be continuing to do them. I'm going to naturally follow the path of someone who's starting with Final Cut and who's going to be moving through the process of, you know, filming something, getting it into Final Cut to the very end of exporting. But if there are any uh, particular subjects you want covering, then please drop them in the comments below. And as ever, if you do love the content, please like, comment, subscribe. It makes a huge difference in these videos being seen by other people, you know, with the old YouTube algorithm thing that go on so um yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one